up, man? It's your boy Shy, man. Shy versus everybody podcast. Episode number 10, man. New Year 2020. Got my dog, man. Hoop legend. Detroit hoop legend. Chuck Bailey, man. What's good, bro? What's poppin'? What up, dog? Shit, All man. that above. Oh, yeah. Happy New, <laughs> Happy New Year, my guy, man. Happy New Year to shit, you. Shit, man. Uh, well, shit. Before we get to your story, man. The New Year, man. 2019. Give me some highs and lows of last year, man. Uh, let's go. High. What's a high, man? Some high moments. Man, I, you know, I was living. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, we had some, uh, Building a Legacy did pretty good last year. You okay. know what I mean? We, um, we birthed a lot of different programs, uh, def- birthed a lot of different programs. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, you know, I enjoy, I, you know, I call myself enjoying life a little bit better yeah, like, you know, last you. year. Uh, lows, um, <laughs> Uh, personally, you know, I was, uh, I guess last year I got a divorce. Oh, shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, uh, that's a low low. But yeah. it's cool. You hey, know what we talk about divorce. Hey, I'm getting married in, J- in yeah. July. Oh, yeah, shit, man. Bro. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm, what's, I'm what's, some, what's some advice? What's, what, what's some advice for you? Uh, <laughs> Choose for the keeper. <laughs> Hey, for sure. That's all the time, man. I got it. No, nah, nah, man. This is marriage a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, uh, as long as you, you know, get everything out of you. Okay. You know, yeah, as yeah. men, we... You know, we got yeah. some stuff in with us. Yeah. We got to get out. And, and that's how you know I kind of knew, man, because, like, prior relationships, I was on some bullshit, man. This uh-huh. one's like, I've been solid the whole way. The, the dating process, the going together, all that junk. Like, so I'm like, damn, shit, I'm kind of wasting time. Now, nah, shit, I'm going to lose a motherfucker. You oh, know? yeah, yeah. I tell the dude all the time. If you, It's almost like if you got a good girl, good woman, man, yeah. and she, you know, you with her and stuff like that, man, it's almost like having a it's almost having a, a Bentley in the driveway with yeah, no gas yeah. in it, man. Exactly. Go put some gas in it, start the keys Hell up, baby. yeah, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But shit, man, how long was y'all? I ain't going, you know, saying going is too hard. But how I'm long was y'all cool. together, John? Uh, me and my wife, I met her. Um, I met her. She was the first day at campus when I went off oh, to school in uh, Michigan. At Michigan, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we was together for for you know quite a long time, man. man. You know, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's we, you, man? We good though. Yeah, man, that's what's good. Up. We 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 had a bad. You know, we're a really good place right now. Yeah, as long as you can co-parent, though. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the that's the most important thing is the kids. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. So what's some, uh with twenty twenty man here man? What's some uh what's some personal goals you got for yourself? Personal goal man. I wanna um I wanna be a, become a better leader. Okay. With, um with building a legacy. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like a better, better um like I was just talking about like uh the little stuff, the yeah. tedious stuff. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? With building a legacy man. And, you know I gotta I don't wanna I wanna grow the brand. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's a couple more things that I wanna do with it. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, I got it, man. I got so many ideas and so many different um, things I want to do with it, man. I just want to make it better, man, bigger and better, man. And be, um, that's one. I mean, me personally, I want to be become, a, uh, you know, I'm learning, I'm yeah. learning who I am. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Who I am, what I am. You know what I'm saying? Be true to myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Probably, I need, probably need to little, be a little bit more selfish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To myself. I mean, we all got to be a little selfish sometimes, man. Yeah. Sometimes you're helping so many other people out, you forget about yourself. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's, that's part of my problem. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I help and I look out for so many people that sometimes I put myself in a bad situation. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. So, I want to be that. And then, as far as a father, man, I... um. I just want to continue to be a great example for my boys, man. Yeah. Cause you got two kids, right? Two yeah, boys. Yeah, I got two boys. Yeah. Drew and Chuck. Chuck, Chuck yeah. the oldest. He okay. 15. Drew 12. Okay, okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? I just want to be a better father, man. man yeah, that's what's up, man. You know what I'm well, we, before we get to building legacy, your coaching, your hooping days, man, where you grew up at, man? How was it growing up as a little young Chuck, man? Oh, growing up, man. Shit, I, 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 I had, a, I had a, my, my childhood was pretty good, man. Yeah. It was lit, man. I grew up on the east. I grew up right around the corner. Okay, okay, yeah. Right here, we know where we off Connors. Yep, yep. I, shoot, I grew up on Harper and Connors. Okay, you know okay, what I'm yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm four eight two one three. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, shoot, I growing up, man. I um. You know, I grew up in the gym. I talk about it all the time, Joy Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was my neighborhood gym. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That was that shit. We get up in the morning. We start out in my backyard because I had to I had to hoop in my backyard. Yeah, yeah, we start yeah, off yeah. at like 7.30 in the morning. My boy Butter come wake me up, tapping yep. on the window. Yeah. Let's get active. We in the backyard hooping. Yep. We'll do that. Then we'll leave from there. Then we'll go to the J. Yeah. We'll play for a little bit up to J until they close. Yeah. And then we'll leave there. My boy, then we'll, we'll get, we'll go. And pull had the pull out rims. Oh yeah, the yeah. pull out rim. We put that right up under the street light. Yep, we yep, play yep. there all night. Man, you know what I'm saying? so that was those are days too, man. Do you think like with kids growing up now, man, they be missing like that outside toughness, going to hoop all day, waking up? Cause I used to be at 
uh, Bustle Family Center hoping, uh, the Brewer. Oh yeah. All that junk Crowley outside oh, yeah. hoping. Like you think oh, yeah. kids be missing that? Oh like, for sure, man. I mean because you you know some of the, those situations made you grow up. You ain't yeah. had your mom and your daddy or nobody you yeah. know like training you or taking yeah, you yeah. to trainers and you know all the you know yep. shit. You had to make you had to make it do what it do. Yeah. Then like I said, when you hooping with grown men as a young and you can't even call no foul. Like you might get your ass with for calling mm-hmm. some bullshit. Oh, so you foul. might not be able to get on yeah. next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For yeah sure. oh, fuck, get man, get your little soft ass out of yep, here. Yep. 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 Man. <laughs> Hey, I remember hooping at Bell Isle, like, man, the little back park by the racquetball. You couldn't call no stupid foul. Like, nigga, if you get fouled, you got to play through it, though. You got to play through it. Play through that. Play through that, young fella. You shouldn't even be out here no way. Yeah, because like I said, a lot of kids, <laughs> like you said, man, just they in the gym only to train, man. They ain't right getting that, that, that work. I mean, that's good. I wish, like, the training stuff, like, was going down back then. But I think getting that little hoop run with the grown people getting knocked down, scraping your knees and stuff like that, man. And like, it made us more – I think we was – it made us more agile and athletic because, like – I could just remember, like, like in my backyard, we had the hoop on the rim. Mm-hmm. Then we had the garage. Yeah. I'm just telling you all the different obstacles yeah, we had to yeah. do. We had the fence over here. <laughs> yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Then we had the wire. Yeah. So I had to learn how to uh, shoot. You know, when I shoot <laughs> over the wire, not hit the garage. Because if I keep yeah. hitting the garage, my my dad and my mama, and the, like, man, what, you know, what yeah. you doing? Get off my damn garage before I take that damn rim off the uh, mm-hmm. back. Then... The neighbors got the, got the pit on yeah, the rock. Go got the rock got wall. Like I got to jump over the fence. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And be, and jump no. back before the damn dog come from around the side For of the house. No. No, then, no, now you, now you got to be able to dribble through the crack on the ground. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep. If it go, I bounce it. Nigga, hey, my boy. Dog, for real. Yeah. Then, what the what's name? What you want to do is hooping the crates. Oh, uh, what? Crates? You got to have a perfect jump shot for that crate room, man. Oh, uh, crates, man. We used to, man, I'm telling you, man, my church, right? I, I went to church right on the corner, too, Faith Clinic. Yeah. This how so much we was into the game. My boy was, I grew up with, you know, they they, they family to me. My guy, T, T, T Hicks, Terrence Hicks, he probably coach. You probably seen him around here. Okay, okay. Um, and Zach Hicks, he, he coached out of ATAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we used to play in the basement of the church. So <laughs> what we used to do is we would take a sock. yeah. Church be going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd yeah. sneak down in the, back, in the basement of the yeah. church. And, like, the exit side <laughs> on that side and the exit side on that <laughs> side, we'd take a clothes hanger, right? Yeah. And open the clothes hanger up like it's a circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like put it in the clothes. I put it in the uh, exit sign and put it on it. And we'd play with the sock. Duh, Imagination. Yeah. Hey. Like, boom, boom. I mean, like, Man. we running into each other. We knocking each other in the walls. Man. Well, you know, church going on. Yeah. You, by the time you, you know, it's church out. We walking up. Some of us got... Uh, el- got bloody <laughs> noses, Duh. elbows, clothes, church clothes torn all off yeah, us before yeah. we walking up. You know, we going upstairs. Our mom was like, "What's going on?" Yeah. Shit, we was in the basement playing. <laughs> we was hooping man. at the church. We used to have been down there during church. Man, <laughs> you know what I'm that's how it be, man. That's when you like, man, back then, like before you know, social media and stuff, the phones and stuff. You had to make up stuff, man. Make up ways to have fun, man. Like, um, almost definitely. Like kids don't have nowadays. Kids don't have imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so I can be in. The, I can remember being like. I can remember being in the backyard, man, yeah. and like, you know, growing up, like some of my idols was like Paul. Paul Pierce was like my idol. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Jesus, okay. I thought I was Jesus Shuttlesworth yeah, from high yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I can remember like, you know, it'd be late at night or early in the morning. I get up, my boys can't come. Okay. I'm playing and I'm playing against Jesus Shuttlesworth in my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Breaking yep. them down. Kids don't do that. Now yeah, I asked my man. son the other day. I said, I said, you don't have an imagination. I said, act like Kyrie checking you. Yeah. He said, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you always where you at? You always at? Where you at? You gym? You doing those countdowns? Five, four? You know, game. Winning shots and all that stuff, man. They don't, kids don't have no much imagination on no coach. Like, man, <laughs> I used to be able to imagine I was playing with a team full of people passing to myself. Like, right, throw it off the wall. Duh. Oh, he passed it back. I'm shooting this bitch. <laughs> you miss it. Oh, got, you miss a shot. Oh, I got fouled. I'm right. in the free throw line. Like, right. oh, that was some fun days, oh, man. Oh, for sure. So you grew up with uh, both moms and dads in the house? Oh, yeah. Both okay. my parents. You know what I'm okay. saying? Uh, my Mama Bailey. I don't, you know, people t- you know hear about Mama Bailey all, and uh, Papa Bailey. You okay, know what I'm okay. saying? Like, they. Big on a, they big in the in the uh, building a legacy, you okay, know, what okay. I'm growth. That's what's up, man. Now you uh you went to King, man. You played for one of the best coaches in the in the state of uh in the city of Detroit. You know, what I'm saying how was that, man? Going to King, playing for uh for Coach uh Benny, Benny, yeah, Benny White. That's my guy, man. Yeah, like yeah. he uh. It, you know, he's different, man. He, he challenged your mind. You know, what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And one thing I can't say about Benny is about the kids. You oh, know, yeah, what I'm saying sure, like yeah. like. 
it's bigger than basketball with him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Even to, still to this day, me and him, you know, we going back and forth on conversations, you know, because he, he value my opinion when it comes to, like, basketball too because he know, like, I done been through it and he done raised me through it. And, he, you know, I might say something. He might, you know, he'll tell me in a minute, like, Coach, they, Chuck, they deserve an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. telling me, like, right there, like, Coach, it ain't really so much about wins and losses. Mm-hmm. It's about giving these kids opportunity. Yeah, it's yeah, about yeah. giving these kids a chance. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I can't knock the dude for that, man. But you need, yeah. those be, like, the best type of coaches, man, you can keep those connections with after basketball. Oh, yeah. Not, you know, you call him uh, about, you know, personal things, stuff like that. Like, I had a girl on my team, man, and I see she was going through some stuff, and it was like, I check on her on the daily. I make sure Gray's straight. Make yeah. sure her mom good. I know her mom was going through some stuff. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you want those connections, man. Those be the best coaches, man. Like you said, it's not about the win and loss. It's about, can I can I still depend on that coach after basketball? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Coach Coach, coach White is, is um, that's who he is. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Everybody know who Coach White is in the city. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right there. A little different, but yeah, 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 yeah. everybody knows who he is. You know what I'm saying? He got the same smile, same yeah. look. He look like he's 30 man, years real, old yeah. and he's damn near 70. Man, yeah, my little brother had played for uh, King. I was kind of jealous of him, too. Like, damn, I didn't get the opportunity, right. bro. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody know about King. When you growing up as far as football, basketball, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. With well, yeah. basketball, King, you know, Persian and stuff like that, whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 man. We was, you know, we, you know, we had, we had it all, man. Yeah. We, that's what you want. Basketball, you want swim, you want, <laughs> you want girls, you want what? <laughs> So, show, show. so you said you graduated with 01? Yeah, I'm 2001. So when you was uh, hooping, doing your four years in high school and stuff, you, that was around the time LeBron was in high school. We saw LeBron, <laughs> had Melo. Yeah. Then Brian, didn't he play in Detroit one time like against Refer or play Yeah, against? yeah, I was after I was in, I was at Michigan. I was at Michigan then. Okay, okay. So yes, who were some people in the city, like, as far as competition-wise, though, you was going up and competing against mm, in high school? And just in the city? Yeah, they had game. Uh, my man Strick over at uh Denby, Robert okay. Strickland. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker had game, dog. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I was like, man, like some yeah. of the stuff he was doing. He was like, he was one of the few like young youngins who was like doing this thing back then. It wasn't no freshmen killing or no sophomores killing. Yeah, you weren't yeah, really yeah. getting your who you were, getting your rocks off until you was junior and senior. Yeah, but Strick yeah. was like balling from like his freshman year all yeah. the way up until like. His, you know, senior year, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like, I mean, he was tough, you know okay. what I'm saying? He was like 6'3", athletic, yeah, yeah. shoot it. I think he was an All-American football player. <laughs> he just was like a freak athlete, We, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, like even when we if we meet up in the, on the, in the hood, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Or we meet up at, uh, we used to meet up at um, Hamilton because mm-hmm. they had the Rams out in Hamilton. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We was like, damn, man, I, I, yeah. this motherfucker came to play every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he took no plays off. Yeah. Who, who was somebody like when you was hoping in high school, man? Like gave you the business. Like damn, this motherfucker just worked me out. Like, uh, <laughs> and you like, man, you thought about that until like the time you played in the game. city or on the circuit. Which one? Shoot, you, you circuit. On the circuit, I was like, man, I can't do shit with him. Yeah. Uh, actually, he don't even remember. It's my boy. Yeah. We played him out at um. Uh, we played him at, at, in Indiana. Mm-hmm. It's my friend to this day. And it's funny how the basketball circle, yeah. my boy Marcellus Somerville, he was playing with a team out of uh, out of Illinois. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had Eddie Curry on his team. Tell he he had this kid named Najee Echo. It was him. Mm-hmm. And it was, um, we. I was with the family. Okay, okay. I, you know, I'm one of the first original Nike kids. Yeah, so yeah, before yeah. all this Nike, yeah, yeah. I'm like some, one of the originals, you okay. know what I'm saying, to play with the family. And, you know what I mean? But uh, he, uh, sh- man, he was like, man, I was like, man, this is what, six, seven, strong, mm-hmm. three, my next thing you know, three. Got every rebound when I, I just he was just stronger than me, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, dog. And then what happened was it's funny how life transferred. We's in, I'm in France, my first year playing professional basketball. In France, yeah. they switched out to American. And guess who come walking through? The <laughs> exactly. Marcel and Somerville. I'm Man. like, oh, I'm like that nigga kicked my ass. When he was 17, you. I'm like, no, but yeah, that was on the circuit. But in the city, um. <clears throat> Ain't really nobody in the city my senior year I could yeah. say just just did me whatever because the way my senior year went it was like magical you know okay. what I'm saying because my junior year I had five damn near high major division one basketball player like we had. 
13 Division One basketball players man, on our team. That's crazy. At one time. Man, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like our whole roster, everybody on our roster went Division One. We yeah. had one kid go Division Two, and that was Mike Taylor. Okay. But Mike Taylor went D2 because he wanted to, but he led the nation in scoring and, yeah. and at D2. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. just wanted to go there. I'm going to go yeah. over and score Ball a million yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But like that was my junior year. Yeah. And like I barely I played, you know what I mean? I, I played decent minutes, but yeah. I didn't really do what I do what I did. But then when my senior year, yeah. I went that summer from my junior to my senior year, I went went play Nike. Okay. Went and played and so I'm playing against the top players. I played everybody, yeah, Tyson Chandler, yeah. Eddie Curry, LeBron, yeah. all of them we played that whole summer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I came back, shit, my nuts to the floor. Yeah, yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm fucking you up. I'm kicking Murray right ass. Yeah. I'm fucking Karen up. Yeah, I'm yeah. kicking Kaz. So every gym I went in, yeah, like I just like destroyed them. Man. You know what I'm saying? It was like, dunk, three, dunk, yeah. layup, dunk, dunk, three, <laughs> dunk, dunk. Man. What's up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all, so, uh, did y'all get a state championship or a state man, championship? Man, we lost. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> craziest thing ever, man. Like, that, and I, like, you know, I, we should have won, but you know it is what it is, man. But like, um, we got to the regional. No, we got right to the district. No, we won our districts. We got to the regional, okay. regional, regional sem semifinals. Okay. And we played McKenzie. Yeah. Man, I just knew he was going to the Breslin, man. Man. We up twenty six at the half. Damn. Twenty six. That's a lot. Yeah. We up twenty six points at the half, yeah. coach. 26. I'm talking about I'm clowning. I'm out yeah. there clowning. Dunk. I mean, I'm fooling. Yeah. Like, that's back then when you dunk, you hang yeah, on the rim and smack the glass. Yeah, yeah, the I'm head. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to halftime. Yeah. Me, we sitting there like, dog, we about to go to prison. Hell yeah. And I'm like, man, we, and then I, if we would have went, if we'd have won that game, we'd have played. I think we'd have played Deion Harris in them. Oh, yeah, referee. referee. Yeah, that boy was you know killer, too. Or it was either them or we'd have played Kelvin Tober. One of them. One okay. of them. One of them. Because basketball was tough then. Hell yeah. And I'm like, man, I'm sitting there. I'm like, man, we get through this game. Man. Dog. dog we come out second half, man. This they is this little bitty dude. Yeah. Little bitty dude, man. He was little at the time. Had a damn... <laughs> he he had his... He had his... Had a headband on. Yeah. And the headband was covering half his eye. Duh. And guess who it was? I, you, my man Calvin Wooten. Man. And this motherfucker scored 30 on us in the, the second, second half. half. Damn, man. In the second half. I'm talking about he's shooting them from everywhere. Yeah. Bam, bam. They start calling, he started calling them the Unabomber. Yeah. They Duh. was calling Dog the Unabomber. Damn, so, so I'm like, so man. That, that was your, and that's your last game in high oh school. Oh, my God. Oh. I, heard, I was devastated. Hell yeah. I was, de I was devastated. That was my last official high school basketball man. game, man. I was like, man. That shit hurt. Like, when you're going through some shit like that, man, and you, you up by so many points, like, how? Like that shit when they start breaking the lead down, that shit just kind of fucked up your whole team momentum. Oh man, okay, he hit a three, right? Bam. Then he came down, hit another three. Bam. <laughs> I, I remember it clear as day. Man. Then he came down. Think, I think I might have turned it over, right? And mm -hmm. he shot them on. And they had a guy a guy on his team. He went to. He wound up going to Southeast Louisiana, I think. Okay. Named Mike Walker. Okay. Mike Walker caught. Came out of nowhere. Caught the tip dunk. Huh. <gasps> man. After that, it was over. Oh yeah. Hell it was yeah. over. <laughs> It was over. I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm looking around like, I'm yeah. looking around. I'm the senior, yeah. and I'm like, the, you know what I mean? I'm supposed to be the leader of the team. Yeah. I'm like, damn. I, I, like, I you know, I, I, <laughs> help me. Help me. <laughs> what do y'all help me, man? Because <laughs> they, they, they started doubling me because in the first half, I had, I was killing them. I had like 25 in the first half. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they started doubling me. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking around like, <laughs> Kurt, <dog. laughs> Courtney, what we going to do? Man, you know so hey, they, that, they man. Young. man, that's how I be, man. But you right, though. Like, back then, DP, the, 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 the Detroit basketball was, like, man, tough as hell, man. Because I know I graduated a couple years after you in 04, and you had uh, Manny Harris, you had Brandon Jennings, you had Big B Waters, you had Puna over there, Finney. Pooh, yeah. Yeah, come here, he got shot. Did everybody heard about that all yeah. around. We came back still like niggas. Yeah, he got shit. shot and then go up to the game and yeah. score 25 the next day. Yeah, man. Some crazy shit. Yeah, <laughs> so it was crazy, man. But uh, I know you went to Michigan, man, for uh, for two years. When you first enrolled in Michigan, was that during the time they was uh, getting sanctioned for um, the nah, start? No, nah, no. We was – it when I enrolled – so, okay, so this is what happened. I, uh, the coach who um, – the coach who, who recruited me at Michigan was Brian Ellaby, right? Mm -hmm. So – he recruited me, you know what I'm saying, and 
LaBelle Blanchard was still there. They was gonna push oh, yeah, LaBelle man, Blanchard yeah. to the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Cause I he was he was all everything. Gatorade yeah. Player of the Year in high school. Then he went to college and was first team all everything. Yeah. Playboy All American. First everything all Big Ten. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they was gonna push him <laughs> to the NBA, and I was just gonna slide right in. Yeah. But what happened was they didn't have a good season the year before I got there. So so they um so in return they they turned around and uh, fired Brian Ellaby. Okay. And. And it brought in Tommy Amaker. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know, I'm big on that. Like, yeah, so I'm about to say, do that mess up, mess up kids when they get recruited by a certain person? Oh, that for person sure, get, you for know sure. Because you know he ain't going, he ain't sit in my front living room and yeah, promise so my mama nothing. About you. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? He ain't tell my mama nothing. He ain't even know who I was. Mm-hmm. He just knew they got this six seven kid from Detroit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? And um, long story short. You know, Lavelle wind up didn't go to the NBA, mm-hmm. and then they kept Tommy. You okay. know, what I'm saying? I mean, and Tommy, they got Tommy, so Tommy ain't know me. None of the sister coaches knew me, yeah. knew who I was. They had one guy, he was from like Ypsilanti, but yeah. Detroit. Yeah. The fuck? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Ypsilanti. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He ain't know nothing about me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even like him anyway. <laughs> so yeah. let's just keep it. Let's keep it. What? Oh, yeah, nah, sure. I Hell keep. Yeah. Can I keep one? Hell yeah. yeah. I ain't even like him no way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But long story short. We played our first year, and then first year we played. Then the second year, that's when the scandal. Okay. My second year, that's when all the stuff NCAA yeah. started investigating and Martin, all oh, that yeah. type. That's when all that stuff came out. Man. And then so what we did was the that second year we did our own self-imposed sanction. Okay. Not they ain't had nothing to do with the NCAA. Yeah. It was almost like. You know, telling the NCAA, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. we're going to whoop ourselves. Yeah, don't, you know yeah, so don't do nothing to us. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, try to make it look so, like. Yeah, so long story short, I'm like, man, I got to thinking. I'm like, man, NCAA might not. Uh, shit, they might still give a sanction. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Take away some scholarships. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, not let us go to the tournament. Turn up, this, yeah. You know, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? So saying that to say, I, um, I. I you know I, I transferred you yeah. know what I'm saying like I was like man I gotta go so do you like well all that I mean you didn't know the coach was gonna be fired up like that like you have got any regrets as far as going to Michigan and was there any other schools that you was thinking about going to prior to uh, accepting going to uh, scholarship for Michigan? Um, Michigan State. Michigan State. Okay. I can remember Izzo, man. Izzo yeah. a bad boy. Yeah. He like so gangster. Yeah. Well, he was it so like, gangster. Yo, he like a cool ass coach. Yeah. No, he cool. He he cool. He but he was so gangster how he did me in the, yeah. in, the, in, the, in the in the room. Yeah. And it's like I was going to Michigan. Okay. I mean Michigan State. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I had pop. You know. He like shit. You know. Yeah. Like I was going to Michigan State. I remember Izzo sent me. They had just won the national championship. Yeah. I was in the yeah, office. Yeah. I went up there on an unofficial visit. Mm-hmm. He sent me in the office. He said Chuck Bailey. Because he knows my family. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He knows my pastor, yeah. who's like a godfather. I mean, he knows he knows my people. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, man, you coming to Michigan State. Yeah. He's like flat out like, like yeah. all right. I'm like, this is Tom Izzo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is They just won that championship. Yeah. He flat out told me, like, you coming here, dog. Yeah. They ain't know you ain't going nowhere else. <laughs> yeah. This is where you coming. And, okay. you going, and I was having some struggles with the ACT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had the grades, but my ACT, you know, yeah. and I got some, you know, black kids and standardized yeah. tests, yeah, especially coming from the inner city, it's kind of tough. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah. so I was struggling. He was like, you go pass the test and you come to Michigan State. So yeah. I said, I sat there, I looked at him and he looked at me. Yeah. I was like, I knew in my mind I was going to go to Michigan State. Yeah. But then long story short, I'm not knowing. I'm young. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not knowing. So then two weeks later, I'm, but I want to, you know, enjoy the recruiting. Yeah. Hell you know, yeah. so two weeks later. <laughs> I uh they signed Allen Anderson. Okay, yeah. And yep. Jason Richardson was still there. Yep. So I'm like, you know, they signed Allen Anderson, Jason Richardson wind up leaving. Mm. And then um and what happened? Yo, yeah, yeah. So I was like, man, I, they signed a whole nother wing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going up there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like like, you know. Yeah. And so so Michigan. Yeah. Michigan. But Michigan State offered me first. Okay. Before Michigan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um that shit, you know, Michigan and shit. I mean, I'm a kid growing up in the in the hood. You yeah, know, yeah. my family all Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Everything we shit, I wore black socks every day and baggy yeah, yeah. sort baggy Cause shorts. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. of the fat five. So yeah. shoot, when they you know, when Michigan offered me, I was like, Oh, that's a no brain, I'm going to Michigan. Yeah. And he, and he the coach gave me the spread of what we what's the plans and this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Shh, man. <laughs> I'm going to Michigan. I mean, I had some other some other schools like Bowling, Bowling Green, some Mac schools. Okay. Uh, Iowa came in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Syracuse. 
um, Marquette. I remember Marquette. Marquette had D Wade called. Man, me. what the, he gonna hit you called. up? Yeah, Hell yeah, no. that was crazy. That's I didn't crazy. know it was gonna be Dwight yeah, Wade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you but now that? looking back at you, like, like damn, send me a ladder, like you know, dog, like yeah. come to come here. Yeah. You know, this, you know, some, you know, he, but he was still at at Marquette at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, man, so I, so, yeah. you, so any regrets looking back at it? Like, damn, I should just went to Michigan State, man. Fuck. Uh, no. I ain't really a Michigan State guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I I, mean, like, Michigan is all is who I am. You okay. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I, you sure. know, like, you look at my little kid pictures, I had Michigan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. you know. Cause my cousin played for Michigan State, but I was still root for Michigan, man. My cousin was Sean Respert. Yeah, Sean so I'm still like, man, fuck it. I'm, I'm with Jay Rose. That's my favorite. Oh, uh, Jay Rose. Ever. Jay yeah. Rose. Hell C. Yeah. Webb. Man, Juwan Howard. Juwan Howard. Jimmy Howard, Jackson. Jimmy Jackson. Ray. Man. I, sure. Yeah, that you had, what's that, Melvin Bullock came in there and shoot yeah, that boy. Yeah, oh, you a little Bullock? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you had uh, Jamal Crawford for them eight games he played. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they told me so many crazy stories of when I got up there about Jamal Crawford because he was the same year as Lavelle Blanchard. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was yeah. like, man, he was a bad boy. They said that man. was cold. That fool got drafted in the first round off of, what, eight eight or nine games in Michigan? Right. He gave, I think he played Duke, kicked Duke ass, yeah. and was like, shit, it, it's time for him to go. But, he, yeah. you know. I'm glad John Howard over there, though, man. I'm glad. I think oh, yeah. some stuff going to change up, man. Oh, yeah, real. man. Oh, yeah, man. He bringing that swag back yeah. to Michigan basketball. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like As far as coaches, man, like even with uh, with uh, um, coaching high school, whatever, or college or the league, do you think like you need coaches that's re- more reliable to the players instead of these old older co- um, coaches? Because, oh, you yeah. know, my man just went to Cleveland, and I guess the whole thing is about him calling his team out. Call them thugs. Are you talking about John Beeline? Yeah, call them thugs. They say, I meant to say slugs. Like, slugs. <laughs> like, hey, they, boy, they playing like thugs. Yeah. What the fuck they talk about? Yeah, yeah but I think, like, is. coach, you need to be, like, relatable to your players, man. Oh, for sure. You know oh, for saying? sure. Like, especially nowadays, man, because cause the game is so is evolving, man. And, mm-hmm. like, kids, like, you know, like, you got to have some type of relationship with these kids. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. yeah. some type of relationship for them to respect you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially now, like, you know, especially with all the money that's being thrown mm-hmm. at these kids, all these endorsements. You know, you got Nike and Adidas and Puma and all. I mean, it's, it's the game is different now, man. You know, like, you got to be able to relate to yeah. your kids. Hell you yeah. got to because yeah. for them to be able to understand them, under, you know, and for them to be able to feel who you are. You know okay. what I'm saying? And, you, you know, you got to I, – I, I'm big on coaches. You know what I mean? Like, I have nothing against coaches who, who never play. Yeah. I was going but, that's one of my you know questions I mean? too, man. Do like do you feel like you gotta be in some type of aspect play some type of basketball to be able to coach? I I think so. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta be able to understand and have a, some type of feel for the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're both, you know, like you gotta understand what these kids are going through. You gotta understand when they tired, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta understand like you know, a person who ain't never played ain't never get, ran no ran no suicides, suicides or, or ain't never got out there and had to fix his mechanics on his jumper. Yeah. How you gonna tell me how to, you know? Yeah, yeah, for how you sure. Gonna tell, Cause you just seen you seen Ray Allen shoot like this, so you think everybody? No, nah, yeah. his shot might be different. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. This kid might be different than that person. That person, you know what I mean? We all different human beings, so yeah. you know what I mean. It, you know, you gotta be able to have some type of feeling, man. Yeah. I mean, I had situations like that too, as far as uh, older coach not understanding. Cause I went to um, Gross Point North my first two years. Okay. So I'm I'm trying out for a team, man. I'm playing, and then the coach like, yeah, we don't want that Detroit ball shit here. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, no, I just did one little move, got past the dude. He's like, yo, we don't play a Detroit type basketball shit here. Detroit, I would have, I would have. And then it's like, that dick, hey, I, I kept. Gave dog the finger. And then you know, uh, you got, you don't remember, do me. Yeah, you remember back I'm in the out. day, you got the Iverson Braves and junk. I had Iverson Braves, so I got to make it to practice on time. So have my hair taken out, have my hair in braids. So I'm like, fuck, I got to practice. I, mom, take the rest of it down when I get home. Oh, no, hell no. We got to be groomed well here. Ain't that, no, that Wait, shit. Wait, uh, what school is Gross it? Point North. I ain't none of that shit here. So I'm like, you ain't playing the first, you ain't starting the first uh, game and whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? High socks. Oh, hell no. Put them socks down. Make yeah. sure everything got to be like just right. Like, you know how kids now wear different that, colored that, shoes than the, than the uniform? That, that, you know what? That's called, that's back then when, that's probably during that time when they when the NBA tried to put the dress code on the guys. Probably because that was like, like, oh, one, oh, two, something like that. Yeah, they put the dress code where Allen Iverson Man. was coming with the baggy shirts and the, and the damn chains. Yeah, at the time I asked, I should have went to AD and told him, like, I feel like this dude picking on me, like, because he know I'm from the city, but... Instead, I just walked off in the middle of the game, threw my jersey towards his way, and walked away. Walked away like I'm through with you. Who yeah. was the coach? 
I forgot this dude's name, man, but he was a hoe, man. Like, he's a sucker duck. <laughs> like, he's a sucker duck. Like, you're not so, just, coach, wherever you yeah, are out there, yeah. you a sucker. Man, because, like, you know, now kids wear, like, a green shoes, but they their uniform is red. Like, you know, they just do shit because people in the league do it. Yeah, stuff have Basketball has evolved, man. Yeah, you so, like, we had team shoes, but our colors was green and gold, but I'm, like, I'm wearing some gray 11s. And he like, oh, hell no, I got, you got to wear right shoes. Like, oh, man. this motherfucker, I mean, man. In our days, you know, Greek Freak come out there, got yeah. his shoes, freaky as hell. Y'all see them, them yeah, yellow, yeah, red yeah. shoes? You got them just cold. Man, my son, yeah. his, they, they colors is red and white. This fool got some Sour Patch Kid, uh, Steph Curry's oh, on. fresh as hell. Man, like, <laughs> it's all about that, man. So, uh, I know you played two years at UAD, man. Afterwards, you went overseas, like, how was that? And how many years did you play overseas? Should I played uh, I played seven and a half, almost eight years overseas. Okay, was that was that is it, was that hard being away from home? Cause you what you gone for like six months out the year? Sometimes I was gone for a year. It okay. was tough, man. It was tough, man. Like sometimes my family would go with me. Like my first couple years, you know, my boys and you know, I didn't have baby Drew. Drew okay. wasn't born at the time, mm -hmm. but Chuck went and we, you know, we went to France and. You know, first year or two that, you know, we did that. But then after that, you know, I I told my ex-wife, I told her, look, y'all stay home. Yeah. And, um, you know, put the kids in school and then I bounce back and forth. It's like contracts. It's like being in the army or yeah, something, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. go over there and make the money, send it home. Yeah. Take care of, the, you know, take care of what you take care of, baby, and I'll be back. So what's some countries that you like more than others? Oh, yeah. Some I love Middle I East. hate this shit. Oh, I, Middle East was dope. Yeah, okay. So people like. If you ever, like, guys out there inspired to play basketball, the Middle East, oh, it's dope. For real? Okay, Dubai, okay. Dubai, Bahrain. I, I played in Kuwait. I played in Kuwait and Bahrain. But we, you know, we went to Dubai a couple times. Before, this was before Dubai was, like, really. Yeah, popping. Really, really yeah. do what, you know, they were still building the birds of Khalif. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. like, um, like, oh, I hated the Ukraine. Okay. Oh, I hated that. Man. It was terrible. <laughs> she was nasty. Dogs everywhere. Damn. It was like, you ever see, like, The Born Art Tomato? No. You ain't seen it with Jason Bourne, the movie. Hell that, no, that, I never seen that. You ain't see that? You, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? The Born Automato, you got to yeah. watch it. Okay, I'm like, when they be all over in the Ukraine, and look, the, the skies be all dim all the time. Man. It's all gray. Yeah. It's all dirty. They got the small little trolley cars, like one of them old Russian films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like that, like, back then. I don't yeah. know how it looked now. Yeah, but That then. was 10 years ago. Yeah. No, actually, I was... I was in Ukraine in 07. Okay. 07, 08. Oh, it's like 12, 12, 12 years, years ago. Yeah. So I don't know what it looked like now. Did yeah. nobody speak English? Man. You know what I'm saying? Like money, my money was late. Yeah. Teams paying my the team, my team was owned by the by the mob. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Dang. when he come pay me, he got two bodyguards, machine yeah. guns. <laughs> Damn. That's he, crazy. Count my Counting, put that one on the table. Damn. I grab my money, but I'm nervous walking out. Like, dog, they gonna lay me down before you know. You know what I'm saying, oh, man. So when you play overseas, like, did you think like, all right, I can get to the uh, league through the through playing overseas? My first couple years. Okay. My first couple years. My first year, I was uh, playing in France. Mm -hmm. I did. I did well at the beginning. Then I got injured. I broke my finger. Yeah. And uh, played through it. And I should have sat. Mm -hmm. I should have sat. If I would have set, it would have helped me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I was leading the league and everything, but I played through it, and my numbers dropped. Okay. And when my numbers drop, you know, it's, it's a numbers game. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They look up. They don't care. They ain't know my finger was broke. But anyway, um, yeah, my first couple of years, year yeah. when then I went over to Bahrain, mm. and then I went to uh, – to the Ukraine and I was like man you know I'm gonna give it a shot you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying I, I did a couple little mini camps and stuff I did I think I went out to the Pistons little rookie camp or okay. whatever yeah, yeah, did yeah. that but after like year three I was just like man I'm gonna just try to make as much money as I can yeah, before you done yeah with before yeah. I'm done cause I know I'm, I know this ain't gonna last forever mm -hmm. you know and shoot baby Drew Chuck needs some um uh uh Chuck, you know, baby Drew, Chuck, yeah. they need diapers, they need yeah, food, yeah, they need a place real. to live. So I need to make yeah. sure they want it. Okay, you know what for saying? sure. Well, shit, with, with the way kids is now, man, for a quick second, talk about like, how these kids are deciding to go overseas instead of going to college and junk. Because, like, you got Melo, the Melo ball, you know, he over there in the you know, NBL. And you got uh, my other the other dude playing over there, like RJ Hampton. Yeah, I think the first person I really got hip to doing that was uh, I remember uh, Brandon Jennings. Yeah, Brandon Jennings. Yeah, he had did it instead of going because he was supposed to go to Arizona at the time and went over there, got mill real quick, came to the league. Got his cheese. Yeah. What yeah. you think about that? You think that's the route that a lot of kids gonna start going? I mean, it, 
Because like Ben Simmons, I'm watching it, not to cut you off, Ben Simmons, like, that time he went to LSU was kind of, like, pointless. What, like, a waste of time. He should have stayed in. Because yeah. he's from Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was, yeah. like, it was pointless, like, because after his uh, basketball career was over with, he stopped going to class. There was no point. He wasn't about to get he no went degree. To school, he went to school from September to December. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 too. like why, am, why am I going to class when I could be working on my game? So, you know, you think more kids going to start going overseas, get a little meal? You know, you know what's crazy, man? My, my, my little Chuck. Me and Lil Chuck was having a conversation about that. Mm -hmm. You know, we was talking. And he was so sincere and so serious. You know, we talking. You know, we talking about working out and stuff like that, and and just you know, you know, talking about schools and stuff like that. And like I was talking about like this summer, you know, taking them about three or four schools, unofficial visits. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying just let you know people start getting getting used to seeing him and who yeah. he is and stuff sure. like that. And he looked at me, he said, looked at me in the serious look, said, Dad, I don't want to go to college. Yeah. Said, so what you think you going straight? I'm like, what you think you gonna go straight to the NBA out of high school? Yeah. He said, nah, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But he's like, but I wanna go overseas. Yeah, yeah. I said, what? Yeah. So you know, like with all, I still got some of my same connections. I still the same. No, everybody kind of like gave me a chill because yeah. I'm like, dang, yeah. I could put my son in a situation, you know, yeah, to be able to sure. when he done with high school, he can go overseas. Yeah, you know, this is what play, you want to do. Yeah, 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 you know, like, and I, you know, it kind of gave me, it gave me a little excitement to it too because yeah. I'm like, damn, you know, he he actually thinking outside the box, you yeah, know, what I'm saying because yeah, that's yeah. that's the American way when it comes to sports. Okay, you do good in high school, you do you do good, they give you a college degree, yeah. and then you go. You know, it, you know, you use that degree, mm -hmm. and then if you know, if you, you know, if NBA or overseas, then you do that way. Yeah. But he like, <clears throat> so I asked him. I'm like, he like that. I just want to go. You know, he's like, I can always come back and get my degree. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, and and the way he broke it down to me, he said, he he said it in a in a way like, education. He said. Education ain't gonna never go nowhere. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He was like, I can always go back get my degree, get my master's degree. Sure. You know what I'm saying? He was like, but this game of basketball, eventually, it's gonna be over. Oh yeah, for he's sure. He's like, so I want to play as long as I can, make as much money as I can. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, and he put me in the pickle. He like, with the connections that you got, Dad, you still your mom. You know, like he called his uncle Sale. Mm -hmm. You know, that's Marcellus. You okay. know what I'm saying? The guy who I was talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he called him Uncle Sale because okay. he was, you know. He had my uncle Sale still over there playing. Yeah. With his his connections. My uncle's, you know, yeah. uh, I got another friend. He called him Uncle JT. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He over there in Argentina. Yeah. Like my uncle's RJ. With these guys, they can, you know, yeah. I can yeah. go yeah. over there. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. They can put, you know, they can put us, you know, put me in a situation where I can be successful and I can I can get over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and I got to thinking, I'm like, damn, when I was, it was some young boys that was on my team when you know, when I was over there playing. Yeah, you know and I mean? now, like, like I said, these, these scouts in the league is going around looking at these young boys, too. It's not about the college. They're going overseas looking mm, hard. Going overseas looking. Mm -hmm. So, I've, you know, I've been thinking about little plays and little moves and stuff like that for them, like in the summertime, send them, like, see what type of Euro camps they got going on over there in the yeah, summertime. Yeah, yeah. Take them to a camp, you know what I'm saying, see how you do. You know what I yeah, mean? Cause, like you said, right now, man, it's, a, it's all about – it's a business now, man. So, you know, like you said, kids ain't going to look to try to get that. You definitely ain't going to college for no four years if you're trying to get to the league. Yeah. You ain't going to be there for that one and done. That's why it's kind of hard even keeping up with college basketball now because every year is a new team, man. Like, you know, Kentucky, always a new team every year. I mean, with Duke, my man came back, uh, Jones. That's just because his stock was so low. Yeah. But for the most part, if you got a name as a freshman, you got average 12 points and mm -hmm. shoot, get drafted in the first round. And there's so many kids that go under the radar that people don't even see that just pop up out the blue. Yeah. Like, it's, like a, it's a lot of guys in the NBA right now. I don't even know who they is, man. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Like, you didn't know who the fuck the Greek freak was. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people came out of nowhere. Tony Parker even back then. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? So, and just to move along, man, real quick. As far as we were talking about coaches and stuff, man. And um, I follow this particular page on Facebook, man, with these AAU uh, people, dog, these coaches, <laughs> man. And I, I laugh like a motherfucker looking at some of these arguments, dog. Like, how, clowns, do, you, yeah, how do you feel about... And I, I feel like somebody might have took a shot at you one time as far as, like, the whole league and stuff like that. Stuff, what they man. say? What they say? I mean, just niggas saying, like, just talking about... I ain't gonna say it was directed at you, but just talking about people charging different prices for this and different things like that. Talking about uh, trophy prices, and then you got coaches arguing with each other about kids and they this age, they that age. Like at the end of the day, it seemed like AU is more for the 
the coaches and they ain't not really giving a fuck about the kids. Yeah, yeah. A lot you know of these coaches, man, be jokes, man. Man, it's funny. They joke. Man. They living. They be living through. They be living. They living through whatever they whatever they missed yeah. in the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they, you know. But I can't knock them though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is their therapy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like this is their therapy. So yeah, I mean, people try to take shots all the time, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But you know, until they know who Chuck is, you know what mm. I'm saying? No. You know, really, who Chuck is behind the scene? Like, I don't know if you did. You see the video I posted? Yeah, it was dope. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. That's me. For hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's who. So people don't really know. So automatically think you know Chuck got all these different events and stuff yeah. like that. And you know this this guy making money off the game about you know off a little you know little yeah. AU basketball. So they don't be knowing the you know what's really behind the scene, man. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. you know like and today. Come and take mm -hmm. some rides with me, you yeah. know. So drop some of these packages off, oh, yeah, for you know. Sure. What I'm saying? Yeah, do some yeah. of this stuff. Cause for y'all who yeah. don't know, he do the hoops for hope, and he uh he go ahead and get sponsor like what four or five families. Yeah, this year I did four families in total. It was like. It, it was only supposed to be 15 kids, but yeah. every house I got to, yeah, four, five yeah. more kids come walking downstairs. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, yeah. before I know, it was like 25 <laughs> kids. Yeah. I done gave out some uh, extra yeah. thousand dollars. Yeah, you know what I'm And like I said, I go, sometimes I, be, I ain't gonna lie, I be on that page just to laugh. Like, dog, these dudes is crazy. Like, my son, I remember he played for his AU uh, team. I had to pull him real quick, man, because it was a dad on the, uh, who was the coach. And, um, he get mad about the Lewis stuff, dog. Like his son not first in suicide. He throwing basketballs at the kids. I'm like, hold on. I'm like, hey, I told my man because he was uh on the staff. I'm like, man, I gotta take my son off this team, man. Like, yeah, yeah. Some dad, dad. It's like a gift and a curse when you a dad, man, yeah. and coaching, man. Because, yeah. you know, the good thing is. You know, and I applaud the guys, you know, because with AU basketball, ain't no money in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, a guy that's taking taking his time out away from his family, away from his kids, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I did that, you know, prior to me even coaching my sons, I, I coached the team for, like, nine years. Matter of fact, them guys are, like, Rocket Watts was on oh, yeah, the team. Romeo, Romeo Wins was yeah, on that team. Beast, yeah, I yeah. raised them boys from, like, fifth grade. Yeah. No, actually, I got them in the fourth grade. It was 10. Yeah, and I yeah, took yeah. them all the way up. Mm -hmm. And my son wasn't even on the team, so you know that was you know that was kind of, that was a struggle. But yeah. you know what I'm saying like I applaud those guys who do it. But you know, and that's why a lot of times in AAU basketball you get dads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying because a dad, you know, he put five six kids around this kid and yeah. show at least I'm you know I'm yeah I'm, a, I'm burning my gas driving all over the place. I'm yeah. spending the extra forties and fifties, a yeah. hundreds or whatever. But you know my son is benefit from it too. Oh, yeah, so sure, I can't yeah. knock the dad. I can't knock but, it. I just be knocking the whole little just. The hating off of it, man. Like man. that's the funny part. Yeah, like, yeah. Me and my, I don't know if you know about. Um, have you ever heard this organization called In the Know? I heard that name. Yeah, that's that name. my um, that's my fiance. That's our cousin. So we was talking. She was talking about starting the AU team and stuff, and she want me to come aboard, whatever, and um, just build from the ground up. Cause every organization she helps, she like she hate the way they run stuff, and they not really for the kids. Is she a, is a woman. Yeah, yeah. Her name is uh Brittany Dorsey. Brittany, I know that name. And she went to she who for cast, and then she went to. Oh yeah, yeah, I yep, know you talking about. Yep, yep, that's fam, that's fam. So um, she wanted to start an AAU program. Yeah, so me and her about to go ahead. Why she, not? She, yeah, she, women, like I say, yeah, women are the best. Dog, they tedious. Like, and the thing about it, she the one person I would love to work with, cause dog, she know her shit, dog. Like, and she for real about the kids. So when she gave me that call, it was, I feel it was an honor, like bet. Oh yeah, yeah, you know yeah. She be yeah, that'd be cool, man. Then she'll probably be more organized. Yep, yep. So you she like she wanted to do a fourteen. You have all 12 13 year olds and stuff and she was like yeah i want to go at those top those top teams and stuff man like hey, you know what i'm saying yeah yeah but a lot of people got to understand man when you get in this au business it's, yeah. it's politics to it so what happens is like a lot of people you know everybody thinking that if i get a good team if i get a good this that and the third then nike gonna give me a bag or mm -hmm. adidas gonna give me a bag that ain't how it go yeah 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 you yeah, know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying you got one you got two Nike teams here in the state of Michigan. Yeah, that's what one is one and, yeah, one is the Bates. family and one is Bates. Yeah. The reason Bates fundamentals got Nike is because they got Imani Bates, who's yeah. probably gonna sell two hundred <laughs> yeah. million dollars worth of gym shoes yeah. in a couple years. <laughs> For sure. You know what I'm saying? You know, they got him. Yeah. The family has is a grandfathered in program. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah. they've been around for 30. They wanted the official EY, the, the original EYBL teams. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for lack of better words, they probably, they not going nowhere. So, Ever. you know, <laughs> they, you know, it ain't going, you know, so if you think you're going to get a Nike bag out of here, you better hope you got a, 
kid that looks like that looks like a Bonnie yeah, Bates, yeah, yeah. tall like him, <laughs> can shoot threes like him, yeah, yeah, can, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you yeah. gotta hope you got one of them somewhere yeah, tucked off. Well, That's the only like, way Nike even even will even look at your way in terms yeah. of sponsorship dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was telling her, like, a lot of these AAU teams try to go out of town before they even conquer what's going on in the city. Oh, like, yeah, I'm big I'm big on that. I'm yeah. big on that. That's one of my pet peeves. Yeah. You, like, you know, why because, waste that money, man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dog, if until you dominate your until you dominate your city, yeah. until you dominate your region, your area, yeah. why travel? Because yeah. what happens is you, it just turns into an expensive field trip. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you lost all these games. Just, you paying for this hotel room, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, Ooh. man. I and I'm not like I yeah. like I I'm not into expensive field trips just to <laughs> take the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like that ain't you know yeah. we, you know I ain't into no expensive field man, trip. I'm when, sorry. Me, when I was growing up, I didn't even know about the AU circuit until. Until um, my brother started playing for Coach Quick. Remember Coach Quick? Running guns. Yeah. Guns. So that's when those... he was. He, I, that was like that was our arch rivals in Pal. Yeah, yep, yep, I was yep. a road runner. Yep. They was the running guns. Yep, yep. So my brother played for running guns. I remember he was like eight years old playing at the at the YMCA right here on Harper and stuff. And he seen my son playing in the league. Like man, I want your son to play. And um, he played on the team. You, but he was eight. And uh, Kyan Jackson, her daughter, played for Mississippi State. Uh, talking about Rakia, yeah, mama. her mom seen my my brother like man, please put him back down to his age group so I can have him. So yeah, Coach Quick was a good dude, and Coach Quick could come pick up all the kids in his red van. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the old days. You had guys like Coach Quick. Yep. You had guys like uh, Rocky with Michigan, um, Mich the team Michigan. You had guys like Marvin Bryant. Mm -hmm. You had guys like Jake Boyd. Yeah. You know, so those are the original guys yeah. around here. Man, I was talking to somebody about those guys yesterday. Matter yeah. of fact, we was having a conversation, man. Like, like if you was anything or anything with worth basketball here in this area, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You had to go through those gyms. Yeah, man. Those was real. like the the Damn, those what are was that that gym that Coach Quick knew used to practice at, dog? Eastside Center. Yeah, right there on what McDougal. Yeah, McDougal. Man, yeah, Coach East, Quick and shout East out to Coach Quick. He'd make a thousand free throws in a row underhand. Yeah. <laughs> underhand. <laughs> that was a Coach Quick, baby. No, I love <laughs> Coach Quick, man. He was the first coach I seen. Like, damn, I I might want to coach one day when I get older, man. Yeah, coach yeah. Quick was the truth, man. Yeah, man. So uh, before we get into the uh, the uh, the antics stuff, man, I want what would you give? What advice do you would you give a, a young kid, man, who who, who trying to you know what I'm saying come up and hoop? Like, what if it's a kid like right now, you know, all these kids is ranked and stuff that's in the seventh eighth grade, but his name ain't out there. What advice you give to a kid? To, you know, what I'm saying. Um, it's not a sprint; it's a marathon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, what's delayed don't mean it's denied. My mom, sure. Mama Bailey say that all the time. Oh, yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. what's delayed don't mean it's denied, man. Keep working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it can just change like that. It's just all it takes for you to hit, have one good game in front of one good person. Because it's all all this stuff is all opinionated. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all opinionated, man. I done seen kids who number one in the country get their ass toe up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toe up <laughs> by a kid don't even. you like, hold on. <laughs> You scratch your head like, like who is this? This supposed to be the best player. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I think I seen some jump with Iman Shump was like, beat the man. Like, you want to beat the man? Uh, oh, yeah, beat yeah. the man. Every time you figure out who the man is, attack. Beat, That's why I tell yeah. my son. My son is seventh grade. Man, he played for uh, Clarenceville Middle School, and they teammate shit. Like, they ain't won that one game. Like, okay. I'm talking about like the get score be forty to fifteen. He got twelve of the points and jump. I'm like, yeah. just, you know what I'm saying? Just keep playing your game, game. Keep doing you. And whenever you play somebody, and they. That's supposed to be a dude. Guard that dude. Guard that dude. You know dude. what I'm saying? If you want to, like yeah. you said, if you want to be the man, be yeah. the man. I said the best Black. thing for you would be, don't nobody know who the fuck you is right now. And then you'd be a freshman in high school and be like, dog, who the fuck is this dude? Who is like, this kid right here? We didn't see, nice. yeah, see him in elementary and middle school. So right now, like you said, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. So you got, like right now, we like I said, we in the gym like, all, all the time, working on the little things people don't do, mid-range game, shooting the ball. Mid-range is like... Like that's one of my like my pets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like like that's all I work on with my boys is yeah. mid range, mid yeah, range, yeah. mid range, mid range. Like if he got it, if if little Chuck got a deadly mid range and he's yeah. six five, yeah. oh my <laughs> god, he gonna get paid. Somebody gonna pay him. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? And like I said, I remember just going um at the new school I am. We doing little drills. Like it was it was amazing to me. That kids didn't know how to do a a pump fake, a jab step. You know what I'm saying? Re reverse pivot. Like, it was like different things that they had no clue on how to do. Just a, a basic in and out move. They didn't know how. You know what I'm saying? Hesitation. Like, those little things. Because I guess every kid just think because they see uh, Steph shooting threes and Kyrie doing their handles. Like, it came overnight. You got to work uh, on that shit. Shoot. Shit. Steph probably, 
<laughs> just this year alone, Steph probably shot. Mm, how many? What, oh yeah, this year, twenty twenty. Yeah. Steph in the gym putting in, working on his craft. So shit, Steph, we said, what we twelve days, thirteen days into twenty twenty. Yeah. Steph probably in the shot <laughs> twenty six thousand threes man. on his own. Hell you know what yeah, I'm saying? He man. probably shoot two, three thousand shots a day. Oh yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? That way, when it's leave his hand, it's all mental. Yeah, like as soon as it go up, his body is automatically. Because I, I tell people all the time, we are us as human beings, we're our creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. yep. So. When you working on your game, you need to be working on exactly, you know, how how you going to play. And you mm -hmm. need to do the same thing and to where you train. Like, uh, I get that from Coach Mike Davis, and he said it to me. So he has he said, he said, Mike Davis over at UD, he said, you got to train your brain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Train your brain. Train mm -hmm. your brain to where it's almost like if you've been down to tie your shoes up, you ain't thinking. Yeah, you just tie yeah, my you shoes tie, up. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. Put my pants up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you ain't thinking. It's just your, bank, your brain is automatically tied. I can tie my shoes and be talking to you at the same yeah, time. Because yeah, yep, yep, your yep. brain is already trained to think a certain way and to be, uh, be a certain way. For sure. So, and that's the same thing with shooting. Like, yeah. I tell my sons all the time when we in there working, working our game, train your brain to where it's just natural. Yeah. Uh, do we reach? I'm going here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I get to a certain spot, bam. It's, yeah. you know, I, it's, I'm training. He trains. Yeah. Yeah, for, brain, so. for sure, for sure. All right, man, we got this little uh, thing we call top three when we get to the end of the podcast. I know you got some places to go, man. Uh, top three. So we're going to go top three Detroit Hoopers. My top three? Yeah. And my? From Detroit, yep. Just it, whatever, whatever era, now, past, whatever. Uh, shit, baddest boy I seen with my own eyes. Um, Shit, Tony o Gates. Okay. Basketball. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. He was a good He was the yeah. first month, first high school basketball game I ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Like me being in high school mm -hmm. and the came in King and gave up forty four and twenty two. <laughs> Man. Yeah, forty four points and twenty two rebounds. Mm -hmm. I said, Oh, oh. When I'm looking at you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I ain't never seen nobody just dominate a basketball game like that. That's a Tony o Gates. I think uh, he was a Hooper too. Uh who else? Sure. I mean, I'm gonna go with myself. Okay. I, you know, I got to my senior year. I, shit, I told, I told a lot of niggas yeah. ass. <laughs> uh, got me, got a lot of ass out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then um, my third, I probably go with my. Uh, is my? I got two guys, man. Okay. They're some bad guys, man. Like my either my guy Mike Hands or my guy James Steers. Okay. Okay. All right. Those dudes was yeah. like cold. Yeah. Like Mike Hams had a senior year kind of like what I had. Like, and then you know he we knew he's nice. He yeah. always was nice. Like yeah. I like I've been knowing these guys since Sandbox. I don't even know a life without even knowing them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like Mike Hams like was like this dog. He, we knew he had game. You know what I'm saying? He he kind of <laughs> like he didn't really. He played JV as a sophomore. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He probably should have been on varsity. Mm. It's his junior year. He played just as much minutes as I played. You know what I mean? He played nice little minutes, but his junior year. Yeah. But then the senior year, he just destroyed it then. But we all knew he had game. We all knew he probably was one of the best, better ones out of out of the crew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he go to go to Oakland and lead the nation in scoring for like three years in a row. Yeah. At the all-time Oakland University basketball scoring record. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and then James Steers was just... He just was a bad little dude. Yeah. He just was a he like these little guys around here, man. Yeah. Like they ain't got shit on JT. JT. Yeah. JT was what five, <laughs> ten. Yeah. It will dunk you, shoot the three on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and he and shit. He check. He said yeah. all the check. He got the he got the Big E single season all time. Steals record. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. That's, like, that's a one thing, kids, man. Defense, man. I was just yelling at my kids yesterday, like, dog, we gotta play D. Like, don't be scared to play D. They so worried about getting the Bears getting crossed over. They scared to play man to man, man defense. Like, JT, man, set. He was. He used to sit down on people. Sit yeah. and like, and he was so athletic and gifted that he ran passing lanes. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying. He like, like, like he 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 can read a passing lane so quick. Hell yeah. <clears throat> then yep. it'd be a dunk on the other <laughs> end, hell and he yeah. was this fucking dog. Man, five, 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. get dunk on the other end. So, all right, what's your uh, your top three hoopers? Is period the NBA hoopers? Oh, shoot, shoot. Top three. Right now, my top three. Yeah. Um, you know, it oh, can that's, be all time. That's playing right now. It can be either or all time. Oh, you know, I'm going with the I'm going with the the goat, Mamba. Okay. Kobe is the baddest motherfucker alive. Yeah, that's my dog. I love Kobe. Like I love he Kobe. cold. Yeah. Like that's my era. Yeah. Then you know we got Mike. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, Mike. Mike was just Mike. Yeah, hell yeah. And Michael Jordan, man. He got, it, see, he Mike, got a tree. He said a tree and I was worth a gym shoe. Man, man, for real. To this day, the same ones Michael over Jordan, and over again. Uh, I got to go with Michael Jordan, man. Hell yeah. And then I see, you know, it's Michael Jordan, man. But the Mamba. <laughs> yeah, whew, man. I seen that with my own eyes. I remember... Sterling Anderson, if he ever watching this, yeah, yeah, Sterling yeah. Anderson, he went to King. Yeah, I know. Yeah, football. He dude. he had t- he tell you his Kobe Bryant story all the time. He like <laughs> Sterling went to ABCD camp, mm-hmm. and he say he said he the first person to tell everybody in the world about. He tell you this day, I'm the first person to tell everybody in the world about Kobe Bryant. Yeah, because he seen Kobe Bryant at ABCD camp. Mm-hmm. Kobe Bryant is like the coldest, and then like now, I want to say LeBron. Yeah, I want to say Greek Freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to say, I like the white boy over at Dallas. Dog, that boy cold, dog. He Lucas, nasty. Man. He nasty. Goddamn cold, dog. He nasty. Goddamn cold, man. He nasty, dog. <laughs> I'm looking at him like... He like a white LeBron. Man, for real, his game is, <laughs> man, his game is nice, dog. He like a white LeBron James, just not as athletic, dog. Man, game you know what nasty, man. See, my, my top three was Kobe, uh, Jordan, and uh, Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas was like Z- the first person I idolized, like... My favorite point guard ever, my dad loved Isaiah Thomas. I remember I met Isaiah Thomas in my um middle school. Guy's autograph, man. I walked I ran around the back, caught him up by himself. Guy's autograph, we talked for a second. Somebody stole that goddamn basketball card, dog. Uh, I got you together. Man, it was a Eastside. Man, <laughs> yeah, it was a goddamn Try what's the name, man? Skybox card too. I remember it was an all star game card. Oh yeah. When he won that yeah, you probably get a couple, you probably could have got a couple dollars in man, that. Man, right. Give me a uh, uh uh top three chicks. Like in the game, or yeah, that we know movies, rapping, singers, whatever. Uh, Yo, top three. My top three. Mmm, that's tough. <laughs> Why are you thinking mine is? I think I told people mine is uh Jason's lyric. Uh, 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 what's her name? Jada, Jada Pickett. Pickett. Yeah, I'm Jason's lyric. All right, Jada. But you know you gotta go with Jada Pickett. Yeah, and then I got Neil Long, and then my my third I love dog is Ashanti. Oh, you like Shanti? Hell yeah, boy. She, Shanti got Like, she got better when she got older, too. She, she, yeah, Shanti got it. Yeah. I'm a Jada. Yeah. I'm a Jada picking guy. Yeah. Like, for when she was Peaches and Low Down Down the Oh, Shane. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Hell I love yeah. Peaches. Duh. Peaches. <laughs> Peaches was a bad motherfucker. Man, when she yeah. cut her hair off and set it off, I'm like, damn, she yeah, bad yeah, hell, I, Yeah, she was pe- the Peaches. Then we got, um, shoot, man. You know who's the, who, who, uh... Yeah, I like Neil Long. Yeah. Neil Long. I, I like Neil Long. Um, shoot, man. I, I mean, it's so many of them, man. Yeah. I even, like, go back to the old, uh, back in the day, uh, uh, and good times, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, the ones oh, the, with the lady across the street. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Was it Walona? Uh, Walona. Yeah. I, I used to say Walona <laughs> was bad, bro. Malone, Malone was like, cold, bro. My, my thing is with good times, how did James have any temptation of hitting that when you got you were looking at Florida every day with that no neck oh, afro? Like, like <laughs> dog, how do you be married to something like that? Like, I mean, but shit, James wasn't that good looking. I mean, either. no, he, he's the shit. first LeBron out here, boy, with the receding hairline. Dog, nah, shit, you got Malone, then you got the what's the sister? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 damn, what's the sister name, dog? She Fuck. she was cold too. Thelma. 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 Oh, and Thelma still got it to this day. <laughs> yeah, dog. Still yeah. got it to this day. All right, day. but speaking of, man, t- yo, top three TV moms as far as the looks. TV moms? Yeah, it, it could be on TV moms, friends, like them chicks. Like my, the baddest mom to me, dog, was worse than um, 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 Claire Hustable, man. Yeah, Claire was called. Man. Oh, but I like Tasha. I like that little hood rat little yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tasha yeah. called on power. <laughs> Tasha Cole, I don't like Lala because y'all, y'all ain't really a light skinned girl type yeah. thing. Tasha, whoo. Yeah. Woo. Man. Tasha was it's crazy, cold. Dog, when I found out she was cold as hell was on um, that Biggie movie. Oh, yeah. When she when Biggie was hit, I'm like, God damn. Yeah. Goddamn T is sitting right, boy. Yeah. <laughs> she active. Man. Tasha, shoot. Then we go with, uh, like you say, Claire Huxtable. Yeah. And then we go with. Um, who else? Uh, I, I, don't, so I don't really watch a lot of TV no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I watch, I watch Power because it's just Power. Yeah, but Power, it <laughs> fell fuck off this last season. just terrible to me, dog. Oh, I, yeah, watched one one last night. I ain't watched the one last night, but it just like this whole season, this last season is just weak to me, dog. Like, I don't yeah. know. Oh, even prior to this or just to be this? Just these, I say these, the last 
two seasons. The six seasons, I say five and six have been kind of trash. Yeah. One of the one of the four was like nigga Ghost was that man. I nah, this nigga kind of got stupid and jumped. Yeah, dog. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a snowfall nigga. I like dog, snowfall. Old girl must have had to have some good. Oh yeah, it's quality my <laughs> work, bro. For yeah. that nigga, she and dead. You, and he still talking to her. <laughs> Whatever she had, I don't want it, bro. I don't want none of that. He's still making love to a ghost. He's still making love to a ghost. Ghost making love to a ghost. Man, she had to have that work, bro. All right, man. Our last, uh, my last one is top three rappers. Oh, 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 shit. We gotta go with Jigga Man. Yeah. Okay. Jigga Man number one. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna take that back. Take that back. I'm a Pac fan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I remember crying when Pac died. Yeah, yeah, Pac, I was like yeah, 15, 16. Yeah. I'm like, the world over. Yeah, man. Pac was that dude. <laughs> Me against the world. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All eyes on beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Pac guy. Yeah. Then we go. Then I'm going to go with Jigga. Uh, I like Biggie, but Biggie ain't really my, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, this ain't how I started about go crazy. He love Biggie, though. Like, I ain't really a Biggie. I ain't really a Biggie guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like T.I. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like T.I. Yeah. And, G- it, you know, my last, the last, the third is either T.I. or Jeezy. Yeah. One of them two. Yeah, see, my shit, you know my shit pop. It's Nas. And then, like, like my personal top three, like Lil Wayne. Like, Lil Wayne was, like, my first rapper that, that I, I bought it to as far as, like, rap and stuff. Like, yeah. the first CD I bought was Lil Wayne, uh, Lights Out. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. See, I'm, I'm, I'm Jeezy all the way. Jeezy yeah. make you think. Hell yeah. I'm hooping. I'm thinking I'm selling dope. Man. Like he yeah. just had me, you know. That first Jeezy I album me. was like, yeah, dog. <laughs> Last time That's I checked, I was the man Hell on these yeah. streets. Might be one best CD. It could be arguably the best CD since 2000. Like for like since 2000 and now, that third motivation was up there. Oh, for sure. Hell it yeah. ain't even question. It's probably Hell one yeah. of the everybody know everybody. And he, like every song on that album, you go to his concert. You could sing every yeah. song on that album. Like, yeah. I, you know, it's some songs on Reasonable Doubt I might not know. Oh, yeah. It's some songs on the Black Album. No, I know yeah, all the that, Black Album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but like, that Thug Motivation, every song on there, like, you yeah. you can go to a concert and everybody probably would know every song <laughs> on that album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, man, we're going to get you out of here, man. You got to go check your son out. But before we you leave, we're going to get a buddy love moment, man, from your <laughs> alter ego, man. Oh, uh, yo, uh, I want to know. First, if you got no time to explain the alter ego, but the whole segment is a high moment or a drunk moment. It seemed like he'd be a person to be in a in a drunk moment that you just had bad experience, man. It could be real short, man, real brief. Like what you mean? Like talk to me. What you mean by that? Like I got a drunk moment. Like me uh going to the club, with my homeboy before he um going to jail, and we drunk so much liquor that I couldn't look up above people's shoes, and then I fucked around, threw up on his girl's shoes, uh, had to run from St. Andrews. And next thing I know, I'm over by King at that bank. My mom picking me up in her Sunfire. <laughs> huh? I walk from St. Andrews to King. So I'm walking through all Dog. the worst, the worst uh, neighborhoods that like. Are you through the King home? Yeah, there? man. And I, for some reason, I got like three or four, five hundred dollars in my pocket. It's cold outside. Only thing I got is a button up, like no coat, dog. <laughs> and my mama picked me up, nigga. Like you drunk? Yes, dog. Threw up. All over the place. To buddy love, man. Shit, buddy love pretty much is like it's like a little alter ego, man. It's like a lot of people get to see Chuck. You know what I'm saying? They know Chuck Bailey is a coach. You know what I'm saying? His role model, this person. You know, he's a good guy. You know what I mean? So what? You know, he's a good guy. But buddy love is like you know. But what comes with being a good guy? Sometimes you don't get to get to express who you really is. You know what I'm saying? People are always looking at you to who you are. Like okay. You know, and then if he do say so, oh, you're not supposed to say that. Yeah. You're not, you know. Yeah. You know, so what happens is, buddy, love is just like, yeah, you know. He, I say, you know, he's just a different guy. He just, you know, he me, but I say what I want to say. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying I, I feel how I want to feel. Okay. You know what I mean, I don't care if it's basketball. I don't care if it's relationship. Really, relationships. Yeah, I'm you know saying most of relationships on that. Yeah, most Facebook. of relate because I keep it real. Like yeah. I tell it from a one, you know. From a man's perspective, and then I, you know, I sometimes I, you know, I snap on the ladies, yeah. I snap on the a guys, like guys, I need to get it together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, it, I mean, you know, yeah. like buddy, you know. But <laughs> as far as the, you know, a buddy love moment, man, when I was drunk, man. Yeah. Oh, this past summer, man. Yeah. So I, this past summer, man, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, we at uh we at the we at the marina, right? Yeah. So, you know, I bought I got a boat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and uh 
<laughs> we we so tore up, man. man. We so tore up, man. And uh, dog, we, we you know we helping people off the boat, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm drunk, though. Yeah. I almost somebody almost died. It's, it's bad, bro. Dog. This is why died. <laughs> but anyway, so you know I'm helping people. We helping people off the boat, man. right? So this one chick, she about to get off the boat. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You be be. You got to be careful getting yeah. off the boat. Yeah. Give me your hand. Yeah. And when you jump over, I'm going to grab you. Yeah. No, I got it. I got it. She got her cell phone yeah. in her hand, one <laughs> hand, and her flip flops in the other hand. I'm like, girl, give me your hand because yeah. this ain't. Before well, I know it, she jumped off the boat. And you know, when she jumped off the boat, they jumped on the dock. The boat moved back. Yeah. Right? Duh. The boat moved back. She went straight down. God damn. Damn. <laughs> Hell no. Dog, my boy, my boy looked at me. I looked at him because it was dark as hell. It was about 2.30 in the morning, 3 in the morning. Man. Dog, I looked at him. He looked at me. We both said, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we sobered up real fast. Before you know it, dog, I'm in the water, dog. I didn't, I didn't, I'm on the dock. I'm laying down. I'm looking. Like, where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? And the bitch, she popped up. Dog. Dog, so I, I jumped in the water and I grabbed her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when she cut him up, dog, she ain't had no clothes on. Damn, man. <laughs> she was naked. <laughs> so I don't know how. I don't know how, bro. Duh. I don't know how for the life of me. Where her clothes went, damn, damn. Uh, nothing. How do you fall in the water yeah. and all your clothes fall off? Duh. <laughs> So she went hard. She got went on butt ass. Naked. Oh my god! I had to get. We had to get her some clothes, man. Damn, like dog. Man. But I saved her life. You know, I'm just glad yeah. the boat did go. You know, what I mean, it went that way. Yeah, you I'm come glad back. It come back and go Duh. under there, man. You go be in trouble, Duh, man. We, Duh. Man. That's all. That probably I, a classic ass high story. I mean, drunk story. Uh, dog, we tore up high. I mean, acting drunk, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, but I sobered up so yeah. quick. Like, oh shit, Hell damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm looking like, dog, do I, I hope I ain't got to jump in this water and go all the way down and get this girl. Man. And she came up, her, and she was dark skinned, you know what I'm saying? So I, it was dark, and like by the marina, ain't really a lot of lights right there. So when you came up, she come up, all you hear is somebody coming out the water, like, <gasps> and dog. you can just see her eyes. Her eyes was big as hell. They, all you see is big ass white eyes. I'm like, and oh, titties. shit. Oh, my God, get the bitch. Get her, get her, get her. <laughs> Dog, I'm damn near the water. I'm all wet. Duh. Duh. She still, and when she came up, she had no clothes on, but she still had her cell phone in her hand. Duh. And, and her flip flops. And her flip flops. So my thing is, where the fuck is your clothes at? Duh. How do your clothes come off you, but you still like this? Duh. She was letting that. She gonna, she gonna die with that cell phone, nigga. She ain't letting that bitch go. I said, man. I said, dog, this shit crazy as hell. That's bro. funny, man. That was the craziest shit ever. After that, dog. I said we. I said, man, before anybody get on our boat, Duh. you know what I'm saying? We do a screening. <laughs> Go do a screening check, man. And your ass better listen, or you not getting over here. So before they, if we, you know, we invite people down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it was on my boy boat. Yeah. <clears throat> when we invite people down, uh, before you know, before they get on, I yeah. ask them a couple questions to see if they gonna listen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I might yeah. ask them something simple, like, uh, what you think about this, or how you, you know, um, if I tell y'all to do this, yeah. you need to do this. And yeah. if they even look like they, oh, you got to stay here. Yeah, yeah. You got to stay yeah. here. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Because funny, last though. year, about three or four people drowned. Man. You know what I'm saying? And dude had just drowned a couple days before. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I ain't shit, man. Man, hell yeah. You better, this, man. You ain't about to die on my watch. Man, well, shit, that's the perfect way to end it, man. I know you got to get to your son game, man. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you being on the show, man. You know it. Hey, first po first podcast of the year, my dog Chuck Bailey, man. Hey, <laughs> advice for y'all women, man. Don't get on the boat drunk as fuck trying not to get no help, man. Yeah, I'll try. Hey, you do man. it, your ass going to be left. Yeah, my man, don't die. Motherfucker with your cell phone, man. <laughs> I'll let y'all. Peace uh, out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's for. Oh, that's right.